Hello. Today I will make some test with. Uh, I mean, today I will make a test how long will light this little LED. So the construction is the same like in the previ previous video. Uh, so I will put this this battery in electrolyte. The electrolyte is water and salt uh, or sodium chloride. Okay, the LED is stronger and stronger. I will measure the voltage. Is two point two point go on two point zero six volt. I will disconnect this. I will read the amperage. The active material in this battery is only 2 grams. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. One point one amp. I have here so bad connection. One point three. 1.7 Okay 1.7 amp 1.5 Okay So yeah uh, What I did for this amperage is uh, I make better compression between anode and cathode because in the first battery I have, uh, how to say, uh, mm, how to say, the cathode was not compressed to the anode and uh, I compress this a lot so you cannot easily move this cathode from anode And I use only two grams, only two grams of active material. If you use more active material, uh, you get better power and also the capacity depends on uh, active material
but we'll measure the voltage again. Yeah, the magnesium get easily corroded and you get bad connection. Yeah, it's about 1.8 because I short circled the battery. But it's still enough voltage to run this LED. So I don't use any circles, any any jewel teeth. Uh, this LED I run just with this battery. Uh, so if you use some some sort of jewel teeth, it's way better because uh, if the voltage of this battery drops uh, below uh, one point. 6 1.7 volts the LED will stop running but with the jewel teeth the battery the voltage of the battery uh, can go down to 0 0.8 volts and the LED will still run so I have here this is not a jewel teeth this is a step up converter it's almost the same but the jewel teeth is way better if you use so I will turn off the light and you will see how strong uh, is this LED right now And it's not bad. Bad connections again. So I will not record this all the time because I don't know how long will this take but we see us uh, I mean I will report when this uh, LED get really really low so bye for now Okay, here I have some jewel teeth from eBay. And see the specifications. It's really, really small. One centimeter by 1.6 centimeter. And you can, yeah, you can use more LEDs like here three LEDs uh, and the operation operating voltage minimum voltage is uh, 0 0.8 volts and maximum voltage is 2.4 volts the output power is 3.3 .3 volts This is little uh, SMD jewel teeth.
end is like this. This, uh, this jewel teeth can run at high voltage for white LEDs or blue LEDs. So this uh, jewel teeth with combination of this battery is a perfect solution for your applications. So I will put this in description which can you buy this and you can test this jewel tip. Yeah, this battery runs about 20 minutes and is still on 1.86 volts. 1.8 volts is because I, uh, on the start, I short circuit the battery. So probably the battery starting voltage of this battery is 2 volts or 1.9 volts. But the LED works really great. I will just test. This battery home long can run this uh, LED with any circle. So, uh, if you use jewel teeth on this battery, you double or triple the time, uh, the running time of this LED. Because when the voltage goes down to 1.7 volts. The LED will stop working, but with the jewel teeth, uh, you can run this LED to voltage of 0.88 volts. So I'm home right now. And the LED is strong and the voltage is 1.8 volts. And this LED runs for about 3 hours and a half. And still 1.8 volts. Okay, bye.